Alright, today was meant to be a Mass Effect Andromeda video, but there's been some news. Or should I say leaks? So the Nintendo NX will more than likely be a handheld. Now I predicted this many months ago and I'm not one to say I told you so, but I told you so. It will have a Nvidia Tegra chip. And with it being a handheld also, I don't think you're going to be seeing traditional third party games. And if you really think about it, nobody's going to be buying third party games on a Nintendo device. People are too invested into the systems they've already got to start buying third party games on a different platform. I'm too invested in their achievements. Some people are too invested in the trophies. Some people are too invested in their PC ecosystems. So there wasn't really many people to be buying third party games on a Nintendo platform anyway. And the ones that could have bought third party games on a Nintendo platform didn't. Yes there wasn't many released but they just wouldn't buy it. Anyway let's get on to it. Nintendo's fan base has gotten smaller every generation except the Wii generation but the Wii generation was the anomaly. It's when tens of millions of people's grannies and parents start buying the thing and playing it for Wii Sports but then they put it in the bottom of the closet and never touched it again. But the handheld base, fan base should I say, has always been pretty big. The DS, over 100 million and I believe the 3DS is over 50 million at the minute. So that in itself is kind of good. You're going to be able to play your games on the TV the handheld games. That also means Pokemon will be able to be played on the TV. And if you think about it, given that it's got the Nvidia Tegra chip, the next Pokemon game after Sun and Moon should look really nice. Having that on the TV should be really good. But this is where we get to the weird and bad part. You see, I predicted that it would be a handheld that would come with a Chromecast-like device and you'd stream your games to the TV. Pretty simple. But according to this article, and I'll post the link in the description, is that you'll plug the console into this dock and a controller will pop out from either side. And each controller would have a circle pad, but one controller would just have the d-pad with it and the other one would have face buttons. That is such a big mistake. Nintendo may have shot themselves in the foot. I want them to do well, but I can't see that happening now. Who knows, they may keep putting Pokemon games and that on the Nintendo NX and you're going to be playing the Pokemon games on your TV. That'll do well, but these little controllers and not looking good anyway I'm out have a good one